everybody, this is Kiru Show here. Now then, before I begin, I actually did go over last episode, remember where I did leave off. I remember there's about five days before the actual entrance exam, and Momo and Intelli just fought each other. One mistake I did say was that Momo does win, but Intelli got one for all. That was my mistake. Momo was the one who actually got one for all, not in telly. I am specifying that now and clearing that up before I... I actually did not see anyone in the comments say that. I looked over it and I found that I did make a mistake, I will admit to that. Now then, this is whenever in telly, she's being patched up by Recover Girl and actually talking to her. And Recover Girl will just say that... She's actually quite lucky. These aren't the worst injuries she's ever seen. Which Intelli just is somewhat happy about. Meaning Momo didn't actually go ape shit on her then. As Alma would just say that that was very good, but now then. This is not going to be the easiest task just yet. As he would pull out a piece of hair. As he buffs up saying, eat this. Momo immediately just starts laughing, thinking that this is a joke, until she realizes that he's being serious. Deku would just say, Oh, well, it does actually kind of make sense. What do you mean it makes sense? Well, in order to pass on the quirk, you have to consume a person's DNA. So, wait, this is not a joke? Ah. <sighs> As he would go over the explanation again, except going into better detail about how exactly and what exactly the brother's quirk was. Now then. This is when Deku. He would just explain to Momo if she doesn't like it, he can prepare it a different way. Add some salt to it, add some pepper. He could even bake it into a pie if she would like. All my immediately just holds back his laughter. As Momo just telling Deku that this isn't funny. And Talia would just start chanting Momo on as she, Momo just immediately goes to swallow the hair. Trying not to gag. <sighs> Honestly, it would have been very hilarious if in canon we just saw Deku just like... A sour face he made after he ate the hair. Or we even saw him eating the hair in general. That would have been hilarious. Now then. Ugh. Um, after a couple hours, because All Might did say that the power won't come to her immediately, she is actually just thinking, well, not thinking, but she's actually just, uh, still, uh, training. And this is whenever she would get a call from her mom. She would immediately answer it, and her mom would just say she got a recommendation letter from UA. Or, not her mom, but probably one of the helps, uh, the maids or the butlers at her house, saying that she got a letter, and whenever they opened it, it just said that it was a recommendation from UA. Talking about her quirk, and she will be needing to go there today. She would just say that no, no, she thinks that she might actually just be able to go in the practical exams, but, it's, tell them that she is rejecting the offer. The help would be kind of concerned, asking her why she's doing that. She would just say that she believes she can get in with her without essentially any help as she hangs up the phone, going back to working out. Now then, afterwards, Intelli is essentially asking Deku for another, well, cup of tea. As Deku would just say, yes, quite alright, as he gets up and goes to make it. He does actually ask her if she's a little hungry or if, she's a, if she is starving, and she would just say that, no, no, for now she'll just stick with the... She just wants to stick with her snack. As she's basically drinking a protein shake. <sighs> now then, Deku... He would just walk off, and he would go prepare another pot of tea. Now, let us cut to the next day, 
Momo would actually come over to her house saying that look what she can do now as she's actually creating quite a bit of material. She creates a lot of... Hmm. Let's say that she actually did read over the design for the bolos. So she actually does create like a bolos, but it's not with like in the capture ball or anything. It's just like a regular one. And she just makes one and immediately throws it. As she says she made that out of titanium. Check it out. As she's using her quirk and showing off just exactly how much it got boosted. And Telly's saying that that's pretty cool, but what about the actual quirk itself? Oh, well, I kind of haven't tried that yet. As All Might would arrive saying that, oh, well, yes. About that. <sighs> Just let the power flow through you. Okay. As Momo, she somewhat thinks about the power, trying to focus on it. Her arm immediately gets covered in the giant glow. She is immediately just showing it off as whenever she does move her hand, she, let's say that Sebastian actually walked out as she showed this to Sebastian and he was actually quite impressed. Saying that if that's All Might's quirk, then it should not be, hmm, that's quite strange. What do you mean? Well, that glow is surrounding your entire arm. Where, hmm. It's not surrounding the rest of your body. Well, yeah, I'm charging it up in my arm. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Uh, no, no, no. Um, Yayorozu, that's not exact, not at all what I told you to do. You're supposed to put it, let the power flow. Uh, I, I am. No, like. As Deku would just smack his face saying, All Might, do you mean let it flow throughout your entire body? Yes. See, he gets it. All Might, I'm smarter than her. Hey! No offense, no offense. Although I do know seven languages. As Momo just looks at Deku. As Sebastian would just say, Well, I did teach you three of them when you were two. Hey, hey, that's no excuse. Well, that's a very good one. As Momo actually does try basically letting it flow throughout her entire body. She does so, but let's say that she actually brings herself up to about... Let's see... 30... 20? Yeah, let's say... I want to say 30%. That sounds good. She brings herself up to 30%, as she's actually saying that this is, ah, this actually somewhat hurts. All I would just say, try dying, dialing it back, and she actually does slowly reach down to about 10%. All I would just say that this is actually a very good level, but can she use her other quirk? As she somewhat holds her arm out in front of her, she immediately just tries to create, like, Let's say she tries to create like a simple little thing, like a Russian doll, but as soon as she creates it, she just has like a couple bursting out of her arm, as she actually turns it off. Oh well, that is not good. It seems like All Might's quirk is piggybacking off the... Of, well, it seems like your quirk is piggybacking off of All Might's. Piggybacking? You use the quirk, but you are accidentally cre increasing the rate of which you're creating things. You may need to focus on that. Ah, uh, okay, Sebastian. <sighs> Alright, well then. I do believe I should leave you two to spar with young, well, young Midoriya. That's what All Might says. I did not say All Might in the beginning of that sentence. Now then. Momo immediately just stares down Deku. As Sebastian would say, If you're going to spar, do it outside. Also, Miss Intelli. As Sebastian immediately just shows her her utility belts, saying that he upgraded it to where they should they basically work like a little bit off of magnets. He didn't do much with it, but he does know that she also did change the design. As basically, instead of you having to pull a pin now, you basically have to press down on them. You basically have to pull them off, and as soon as you pull them off, a mechanism will be released. 
Afterwards, you need to press down on the button and then throw them to actually set them off. He would just say that Midoriya basically helped him with these redesigns, along with Inko, actually helping with the magnets. As Inko would just shout that she did most of the work. Well, yes, I'm not going to lie to you. The magnets were a bit difficult for me. Really? You can basically do anything, Sebastian. It's kind of hard to hear you admit something. Ah, uh, well, yes, I do try not to be a little overzealous, but I am just simply a butler. I just know how to wait tables and serve tea. Which is Sebastian severely downplaying himself in front of All Might. Now then. Ugh. Afterwards, Deku, Momo, and Intelli. Intelli and Momo would actually be fighting against Deku as... Deku, he's actually having to put a bit more effort in than he usually does. Now then, he does still restrict himself from kicking or throwing punches, so, but he is no longer blindfolded. Seeing as he basically would have to dodge the sparks of electricity now too. Or, probably not. Actually, no, let's say he still is blindfolded. But... After a minute or so of All Might watching this, he would actually just say that they're doing very well. But cranking yourself upward to 15% will not work. As Momo just falls over for a second, turning off full cowling. Ah, <sighs> Jesus, that's inc that is incredibly hard to maintain. Oh, well, yes, just keep practicing and keep working. And I believe you will be a good hero. Well, Sebastian, as All Might reaches out his hand, buffed up saying that he does have to go perform some hero work, but he did have a good time actually training them and seeing them. So. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. It's been a very weird day. Now then. Let us cut to a couple days later. Everyone's been somewhat resting, and Momo is basically fully healed. And Intelli is actually talking about different designs for more weaponry. She has actually been thinking that since she now has this magnet, well, the magnet on her utility belt, she somewhat wants to go for a way to fire things. Like, basically make like a magnet on her back that she can pull her weapons from. If not, at least carry her launcher at her side. Basically, they would just find a strap and get that set on. But Deku would just say that they will not be able to actually just... They actually will not be able to... Uh, use weapons or anything for the entrance exam. Now then. As everyone is walking in, people would see Deku. He is wearing the regular villain Deku outfit. He just does not have this coat on, but he does still have his shoes on like that. People are looking at him thinking, he's pretty. He's dressed pretty fancy. Is he trying out for the support course or the other courses? No, you don't know who that guy is? What do you mean? Who is he? He's that guy from the video a couple years ago, right? What do you mean? As they would show up the video as you just see Deku holding the 40 blades as he's staying on the chandelier with Intelli on his back. They would also go on saying that that's also the same girl. As they are walking through, people are somewhat crying around them as Yuraka would trip in front of them and Deku immediately holds out his hand, grabbing her collar. Saying that is quite alright, you don't have to worry. As he immediately just puts her back on her feet and somewhat just asks her if she's okay. She is confused by his accent as he would she would just say that she'll be fine, but wait, aren't you that ah oh, yes, well, don't worry about it. As he just begins walking away. Now then, she was actually left there confused as she was about to open her mouth to say that. 
<sighs> now then, they would all sit down and they would all be situated next to each other. As Deku, he would score the highest out of everyone. Momo, she would tie along with Intelli, actually tying. Basically, from the fact that they were all studying together, along with the fact that Momo has basically almost scored that thing entirely. Intelli has super intelligence thanks to drinking a lot of tea and increasing it naturally. And the fact that Deku, quite literally, knows a lot of things from Sebastian, from learning from him. Along with the fact that his mom basically homeschooled him a lot as a child. Whenever they were moving from country to country, taking out these organizations. Now, this is coming. There. This is coming up to. This is now time for the combat test. People are watching as Deku is actually somewhat trying to walk to the front of the line, and so is. Momo and Intelli. Intelli would actually come up to Deku, and she's actually very nervous as Ida would actually stop Intelli, saying that she shouldn't talk to that guy, because, well, I'm not sure what that guy is. He's very fancy. As Ayao, Ayama would scoff in jealousy. Now then, only time you're going to be recognized, you glittery bastard. Now then, sorry, that slipped out. Ooh. This is whenever he would actually walk over, and he's about to stop Deku. But before he can tap on Deku's shoulder, Deku would just say that, Ah, oh, yes, well, that should do for encouraging words. As Yuraka actually gets pumped up, saying thank you, and that really actually inspired her. He would turn around, grabbing <sighs> Ida's hand, saying that, it is not polite to disturb people. Well, you just disturbed her. Actually, I gave her some encouraging words. She looks very nervous. Um, uh, okay, well. As this is whenever Intelli would actually ask Deku. So, you were helping her out. That's pretty good. Oh, hello, Miss Intelli. Again, just call me Intelli. If we're going to be in Class 1A, just don't do that whole master stuff. Master? As he would just ask Deku if he's a butler or something, and he would just say yes. Now then, the answer exam would start, and... Hmm. This is when Deku immediately rushes off. He would just be... He's going at the same pace as Intelli as she is running. He would tell her that there is a secret component that... Well, there's basically a switch on the back of the robots that if she hits it, it will basically turn them off. But destroying them would be better. She would just say thank you as Deku immediately just blitzes off. He is actually running around at the speed of Ida, and this confuses him. Ida would just say that that's not possible. Do you have a speed quirk? Oh, well, no, no, I do not. In fact, give me a minute as he would immediately just lunge forward, smashing through the robot in front of both of them, nearly obliterating it. Now then, he would just say, Ah, oh, sorry. Ah, oh, well, I will have to replace these gloves later. Okay, first off, what? Second, the fuck? How were you able to do all this? Ah, oh, well, you see, I am just... It's part of my quirk. Not a lot of people believe it, though, but it's also part of my physical strength. I can tell! As Ida goes to kick this next robot in front of him, Deku immediately just smashes through it again. Now then, Intelli, she's actually having quite a bit of trouble, as she was able to at least climb onto the robot, but getting open the panels are a bit difficult. This is whenever Deku would see this, and he is just asking her if she needs help. She tries fiddling with it until she accidentally sort circuits the robot, getting herself getting herself three points. She goes to fall off of it as Deku would run over and catch her. He would just say, Miss Sayako, if you need help, please let me know, as she gets annoyed, just cutting off saying, No, she does not need help, and to understand that she can do this on her own. But if she requires assistance, she will ask. 
as she runs off. And Deku, he would just quite simply do one thing. The next time she, he sees her on a robot, he actually does jump onto it and actually leap off. But the way he leaps off, he actually kicks loose the panel she is trying to open. She would open it up, thinking that Deku did that by accident. But she just knows he did not. She would open it up, seeing all these wires, and she immediately just starts. Well, she immediately just starts messing with them as she gains control of the robot, actually just moving around and destroying others and running into them with it. Now then, at this point, I want to say Deku would rack up quite a lot of points, along with Momo and Intelli. No. This is whenever Deku, he sees the zero pointer and he just starts doing that little jog away. As he actually hears Intelli, just he sees a robot running that direct, going that direction. As he sees Intelli on top of it, he immediately just shouts Miss Intelli as she just says that she orders Deku to help her. As Deku immediately feels that that thing in her in his head as her eye patch falls off. Now then, she immediately just aims in front of her, and Deku immediately just blitzes it as people just see the the split second, the, what is it? There's a scene, but basically Deku looks like a giant shadow along with his glowing eyes as Deku immediately just stops his hand right in front of him. Everyone sees this as Deku, he turns around, and he would see that Sayako is actually helping up if not trying to get a piece of rubble off of Yuraka. She is actually struggling to keep it up as she is able to lift it up enough to where Yuraka can crawl out. As she does so, Deku just immediately retaliates with the zero pointer just saying, Ah, well, I did like that glove. Well then, as he immediately just encounters the zero pointer with his own punch, this would immediately just blow off the zero pointer's right arm actually sending it flying. Everyone is in shock staring at this as the zero pointer tries to come down with his other hand, Deku doing, stopping it and actually forcing it to the left, basically smashing the robot's body into the building next to him, as that would knock it over. Deku just immediately just starts cleaning off his hands as he actually would walk over to Yuraka, asking her if she does need medical assistance. Or medical aid. She would just say no, no, but what was that? Ah, well, you see, I was just performing as my master ordered me. Master? As Intelli would walk over, she would reveal her face as Yuraka sees that star and glow in her eye. She just bends down to the ground, picking up her eye patch, putting it back on. Yuraka goes to ask a question, but this is whenever Recover Girl would walk up, and she would heal her. And then, she just immediately turns to say, what is he? As Deku would just turn around, smirking, she sees his eyes glow as he just says that he is one hell of a butler. Now then... They would get accepted into UA, and that is going to be where I do leave things off of, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and have an amazing day. I will catch you guys later.